Have you ever wondered why some YouTube channels succeed and others fail? They don't even get off the ground? Well, my name's Gene and welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about why some channels succeed and why some channels fail and how your channel can grow in 2021 and beyond. absolute biggest difference between channels that fail and channels that succeed is the amount of effort they put into it. The absolute only place where success comes before work is the dictionary and big shots are just little shots who kept on shooting. So a lot of times people don't see the success that they uh, want and they just give up too early. It takes a lot of work to see success. But there are also a lot of mistakes and pitfalls that we can make around, along the way. And if we avoid those, our growth will be a whole lot faster. And I'm not trying to say that I'm some YouTube guru. I mean, I've made my share of mistakes. In fact, everything on this list is mistakes that I have made in the past. And I could definitely see that it has hindered the growth of my channel. I'm up here at Inspiration Point because I wanted to talk about ideas for your stories and every video needs to have a point. You got to tell some kind of story. Story is king. It doesn't matter how beautifully shot your video is or how good the audio is or how many drone shots you have or how epic it looks. If you don't have a story, if it's just a whole bunch of uh, flashy visuals, then it's going to be boring. It's going to be basically a Michael Bay movie, but worse. And no one is going to want to watch it, probably not even your mother. Every video has to have a story, even if it's not an elaborate story. And with every video, you should be able to answer the question, what is this video about and who is it for? One of the mistakes that I made early on, and it's a mistake that a lot of new YouTubers make, and that mistake is not knowing what my channel is about. Variety channels really don't do well. People like to know what they're signing up for. I started off my channel with no clear idea. I had fly fishing videos on there. I had how to repair stuff videos. I had some camera videos. After a while, I decided that instead of it having it to be an everything channel, I would mostly make it about uh, short films and how to do the things that I've learned while making these short films. And my numbers started to grow quite a bit, and I was starting to see success. But not learning from my previous mistakes, I decided to start posting motorcycle videos as well and when I did a lot of my numbers started dropping because people who signed up for the camera stuff didn't want to see the motorcycle stuff. So I started a second channel that's just motorcycles and took everything motorcycle off of this channel. But with every channel you need to be asked, you need to be able to answer these two questions. Number one what is my channel about? And number two, who is this channel for? Your channel will never succeed unless you can clearly answer those two questions. One thing that a lot of people do that causes their channel to not have as much success is they're afraid to post videos because they think they need the great, latest and greatest camera and the latest and greatest everything before they can do it. But it's not really so much about gear gear can help 
as long as they can see what's going on and hear what's going on and the video is interesting, people are going to watch it. One of the things that can hurt your video quicker than anything is bad sound. You want you don't want to use the built-in microphone on your camera unless it is absolutely necessary. It's better to use a, an actual microphone, whether you're using your phone or camera or whatever, use a microphone. And then the closer the microphone can be to the subject, the better the audio will sound. This is with the built-in microphone standing three feet away. This is the built-in microphone standing 10 feet away. This is the external microphone standing three feet away. This is the external microphone standing 10 feet away. This is a lavalier mic standing three feet away. And this is a lavalier mic standing probably 20 feet away. As you can see from that demonstration, having a better microphone closer to the subject makes a lot of difference. Also, don't ever carry your camera on the tripod. Uh, you will break your camera if you do that, so always take your camera off the tripod. Pro tip! is but apparently he's a snitch. In addition to making good content and making content that is uh, consistent with the theme of your channel, another thing that is important for retaining viewers or gaining uh, new subscribers is to be consistent with your upload schedule. I know it's sometimes hard and I haven't been the best at this but if you can at least upload once a week, or if your schedule is every two weeks, whatever it is, try to stick with that. If you upload 10 videos this week, and then you don't upload any more videos for 10 weeks, you might get a lot of, it, of new uh, views or a lot of new subscribers when you first post those 10 videos. But after a few weeks with nothing new, people will start dropping. So try to be consistent, and whatever your schedule is, be consistent with that. It's even better to have a specific day of the week that you post, but if you can't do that, at least try to post one video a week. And try to make your videos consistent with the theme of your channel so that people know what to expect. Another thing that will get people to click off of your videos pretty fast is shaky footage. It might have worked for the Blair Witch Project, but generally people don't like to watch shaky footage and, and it really is hard to watch. So try to make your videos as stable as possible. If you're doing handheld, try to use a stabilized lens or a camera with in-body stabilization. Or if that's not possible, then use a gimbal or even just sit your camera down on something if you don't have a tripod. But having it to be as stable and steady as possible will help make it less jarring for the viewer and help them to be engaged and not want to click off of your video and find someone else's to watch.
Another extremely important consideration when making a video is to make sure that your footage is properly exposed. If it's overexposed or underexposed, no one is going to want to watch it and it's going to just look horrible. So this one I did properly exposed. And as an example, I'm going to quickly show you an underexposed uh, piece of footage and one that is overexposed. So this one here is overexposed and you can see where everything's kind of washed out. And you can see that this one is underexposed and for obvious reasons, this footage isn't any good either. Also, you've always got to be yourself. You got to be genuine. If you're trying to be someone you're not because you think you, that's what your viewers will want, they're not going to want to watch your videos because you're going to be fake. Just be yourself and you'll be a lot more relatable and people will want to watch you. This is, without a doubt, one of my favorite places in all of Joplin. I come here whenever I get the chance. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you. And also, I have to say, if you've made it this far in the video, it is either because you're enjoying the video or because you're finding it useful or both. In either case, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click like on this video because it'll help other people to find it and it'll show me that my work is appreciated. And if you like content like this, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified when I post new videos. So to summarize this video, if you want to have success on YouTube, you have to realize that it's not going to be something that's easy. You can't just slap something together, throw it on the internet and become famous. It's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take dedication. You've got to come up with a story. You've got to make your videos engaging. Either teach someone something valuable or entertain them or both. And with every video and especially even with the theme of your channel, you've got to know what it's about and who it's for. You can't just post cooking videos and then automotive videos and then makeup videos and you know it can't be an everything channel. People want to know what they're signing up for. They want to sign up because you have a very specific kind of content. So as quickly as you can come up with your niche. Find something that you're interested in. Something that you can just continue making content on and enjoy be excited about it and other people will be excited about it as well. Do your absolute best to make sure that your videos are watchable, make sure they're not shaky, expose them properly, and have good audio. And remember, it doesn't matter so much about the gear. You can get perfectly usable videos with an iPhone as long as you use an external microphone. And just have fun and enjoy the journey. I wish you all success in 2021 and beyond, and here is to hoping that 2021 is a much better year than 2020 was. We definitely don't need any more 2020, so here is my salute to 2020 being over. Hooray!